the fill color and line color panels received an overhaul in all editions of Silhouette Studio version 4.3. Not only have the basic colors been updated, but now you can add custom color palettes and see recently used colors. As you use various colors on your work page, the recently used color swatches will populate. This is really nice when using your eyedropper tool to choose custom colors. Those colors you use are available in the recently used swatches until they are replaced. Now let's look at the custom color palettes. If you like a set of colors you've been using, such as these colors I just selected from this floral wreath photo, you can now create custom color palettes starting in version 4.3. To create a custom color palette, click in the input box for the new color palette name. Then type in a descriptive name and hit enter or return. Select a colored shape on your page or click on a color swatch anywhere in the panel. If that's a color you want to add to your custom palette, click the plus icon. Keep clicking colors until you're satisfied with that color palette. You can always add more later. To see the name of the custom palette you've created, just hover your mouse over the palette icon. To delete a single color in your custom palette, right click on the swatch and choose delete custom color. To delete the entire custom palette, right click on the palette icon and choose delete and then the name of the palette. You can even hide any of the palettes from view in the panel. Click the drop-down box and check or uncheck the boxes based on what you want to see. Custom color palettes and recently used colors show in both the fill color panel and the color tab of the line style panel. Whatever you do in one panel shows up in the other. You also have access to all the colors, including recently used and custom color palettes, within the quick color drop-down boxes in the quick access toolbar. Now you know how to work with custom color palettes and recently used colors in Silhouette Studio version 4.3.